Hello friends and welcome back to Irini's Corner. Today we are doing the second tutorial in the AB crochet series where we are learning new advanced beginner crochet stitches based on the alphabet. So today is letter B and for letter B we are learning the basket weave stitch. Now for the basket weave stitch we have two different versions. This is the first one and that is the second version for it. Uh, in the tutorial, I'm going to discuss in details this version and at the end of the video, I'm going to talk briefly about this one. So make sure that you stay until the end of the tutorial or the video to know the difference between both. Now, if you have missed the first tutorial in the series, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. The first tutorial is made of two parts. Uh, part one where we are discussing the alpine stitch and how to crochet it and in part two we are discussing how to read the diagram of the alpine stitch so if you're interested in learning how to read crochet diagrams then this series is for you so to begin our pattern we have two options and that depends on your preference so if you look at our pattern here at the bottom you are gonna see that this set of stitches is different than the last set of stitches. Now, if you want your pattern to be like the one I did, then you need to start with a number of chains that is a multiple of eight plus three. Okay, that is if you want it asymmetric. Now, if you want your pattern to have the same beginning and ending, so the same set of stitches, here and at the end, then you're going to need to chain a multiple of 8 plus 7. Now, in the tutorial, I'm going to be doing the asymmetric uh, shape. So I'm going to start with a multiple of 8 plus 3. And for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to be starting with 19 stitches. So a multiple of 8, that is 16 plus three stitches that will bring me to 19 stitches. So let's start with the knot and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's two, three, four. So we have 19 stitches to start. Now skip the first chain from the hook and we're going to work into the next chain. I'm going to work into the bump and this is optional. So we're going to start by doing a row of half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over and pull a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Now we're gonna repeat this throughout the row. We started with 19 stitches and we skipped one stitch. So we should end up having 18 half double crochet stitches at the end of this row. Okay. End of row one with 18 half double crochet stitches. Now to start row number two, I'm going to stretch the loop that I have on my hook to the height of a double crochet stitch and then chain one. That is a stretched chain. And then we're not going to work into that stretched chain. We're going to work into the first stitch of the row below. And we're going to start by doing a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull a loop, yarn over, go through two and yarn over and go through two. Now for the next three stitches, we're working a front post double crochet around the posts of row one. So we're going to yarn over around the post. So we're not working into the V here. We're working around the post of the stitch. Okay, so yarn over, go around the post from the front to the back and out on the front side this way. Yarn over and pull a loop, stretch it to the height of your current row. 
yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through two and we're going to repeat this two more times for a total of three front post doubles and of course we're skipping the stitches the v stitches corresponding to these stitches so one two three we're not working into these all right next i'm gonna chain one okay and then i'm gonna skip one post so in total we're skipping four and then around the next post i'm doing a back post for a double crochet so yarn over and the back post instead of going from the front to the back we're going from the back to the front so we're getting our loop sorry our hook from the back to the front and then out on the back this way okay and then yarn over and pull a loop stretch it this way yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through two we're going to repeat this two more times so yarn over around the next post from the back to the front and out on the back side yarn over and pull a loop this way yarn over go through two yarn over and go through two one more time and next we're gonna chain one and in total we're skipping four so here are the three posts that we worked on and one more all right next we're gonna repeat the three front posts so so you're gonna skip this post we already worked the last back post around this stitch here so we're gonna skip that post and start working a front post double crochet one two and three okay chain one skip one post and repeat the back post double one two and three okay and then chain one skip one post and in the last stitch we're not working around the post we're working a regular stitch and we're gonna do a double crochet into the last stitch to match what we did at the beginning of our row okay so i started with a regular double crochet here and we're finishing with a regular double crochet okay now stretch the loop the current loop and chain one and turn i'm gonna start with a regular double crochet on top of the double crochet below now we're going to chain one first because we are going uh, on the opposite side. So the chain one comes first and then we're going to skip that chain one and work around the posts. Now these were worked as back posts from that side, but to, now that we turned our work to the other side, they look like a front post. So we're going to match them. We're going to do a front post. So we're gonna go around the post from the front to the back and out on the front side and finish our front post double. We're gonna do two more around the next two posts. And then chain one. Now the next three stitches, they were worked as front posts, but now they look like back posts from that side. So we're gonna work back posts. So go from the back to the front and out on the back side and finish your back post double crochet. 
I'm going to do two more this way. And then chain one. And then we're going to repeat the front post. Chain one. And repeat the back post. And then without chaining one, we're going to go right into the last stitch and we're going to do a double crochet. Okay. So now we are, we are ready to start the next row, row number four. So stretch your loop, chain one, and then into the first stitch we're doing a regular double crochet. And now we, we are gonna flip our stitches, meaning that if we see a front post, we're gonna do a back post. So this looks like a front post. We're gonna flip it into a back post. Go from the back to the front and out on the back side. Oops. Now we're gonna repeat the back post two more times. Okay, chain one. And then for the next three stitches, they look like a back post from this side. Now we're gonna do front post. Okay, chain one. These look like a front post from this side. So we're gonna do a back post around them. And then chain one. The next, they are back posts, so we're gonna flip them into front post. Okay, and then in the last stitch, we are doing, oh, sorry, we are gonna chain one first. <laughs> and then in the last stitch, we are doing a double crochet. Okay, now for row number five, we're gonna stretch our chain or our root loop and then chain one, turn, start with a double crochet, chain one, and then match what you see on this side. So this looks like a back post, then we're gonna match it. We're gonna do a back post. So every two rows, we flip what we see on the current side. So this row, this is the second row of matching. And then for the next row, we're going to flip them. Chain one and then start the next set. Okay, now we're ready to flip the stitches. So chain one, turn the work, double crochet into the first stitch, and then we're gonna flip the stitches. So now we see back post, we're gonna do front posts. So go from the front to the back and out on the front side and finish your double crochet. And repeat that two more times. Two and three and then chain one now here we have front posts then we're gonna work back posts one 
and two and three and so on you keep repeating rows two three four and five until you reach the length of the project that you want Okay, so for my square, I only needed to do nine rows in total for uh, the basket weave stitch. Okay, so now that we have finished our square, um, and as I've mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video that I'm gonna be telling you another version of the basket weave stitch. So for this one, if you recall, we started uh, the second row by a double crochet, of course, at the beginning, and then three front post double crochet followed by a chain one and we skipped four stitches and then we started working three back posts and then a chain one and we skipped four, these four stitches here so we were working around the post and then we repeated the front posts again and so on this is one way of doing it and to be honest this is the less common way of doing the basket weave stitch and because it's less common i decided to show it in details in the tutorial now the the common one is this uh pattern so instead of doing a chain at the end or after the three front posts at the beginning we replace the chain with a front post so the set will be instead of three front posts it will be four front posts and instead of three back posts it will be four back posts we are still skipping four so it's the same count of stitches but instead of doing a chain no we're doing either a back post or a front post to make a set of four instead of a set of three so it all depends on uh what you're looking for in uh, your project do you want it more uh, flowy and with some kind of spaces in between the stitches or do you want it to be um, kind of a solid weave of the stitches okay so that brings us to the end of part one and the same way we did uh, the alpine stitch we're gonna do a diagram for the basket weave that will be in part two so we're gonna build the diagram for the basket weave and while we're building the diagram we're gonna learn how diagrams are uh, made and read okay so uh, i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comments down uh, below if you have any feedback. I would love to hear your feedback and I'll see you in part two.